Well, primary opponents Assemblyman Cliff Crouch and Nick Libis have been gearing up to face each other this Thursday. Our Capitol correspondent Morgan McKay is in Binghamton today to speak with them and shares a little bit about why the two are running. Morgan? Yes, thank you, Jim. Incumbent Cliff Crouch has been in the Assembly since 1995 and says it's this experience and dedication that sets him apart. Meanwhile, Nick Libis has never held public office, but his last name should be very familiar to people around here. Cliff Crouch says he knows the district and he knows its people. You know, you develop contacts, you develop good relationships with people on the other side of the aisle. And quite frankly, we need to work back and forth. I work to get things done. Even though the Republicans are in the minority in the assembly, Crouch says his ability to work with the Democrats helps bring more to those at home. If elected again, Crouch says he will continue to push for more funding to battle the opioid crisis, transparency in government, and continued support for veteran services. Issues like that, I mean, are very important to me. The, the, the state closed down the Veterans Affairs Office in Sydney and we were able to get it back open again after about seven or eight months. Crouch is running against Nick Libis, who despite his family name, has an uphill battle ahead. His father was longtime state senator and deputy majority leader Tom Libis. Most other Republican leaders have already endorsed Crouch. Libis says the fact that the establishment does not support him is why he's right for the job. I'm fighting the establishment. I'm fighting three men in a room. They want to pick the next assemblyman. They do not want the people to decide. Libis says if elected, he will be pushing for three things. Term limits, stopping late-term abortions, and a permanent cap on property taxes. I think the community as a whole is looking for a fresh new start. They're looking for somebody who represents their values, and I think I can be that person. If Libis loses a primary, he says he will continue to run on the conservative party line in the general election. The Democrats are not fielding a candidate. Jim? Thank you, Morgan, and nice to see you here in Binghamton.